Over recent years, technology has brought many changes to the way people live. This technology makes life easier and a lot more fun. Aircraft industries, for example, have continuously worked on keeping up with new innovations. These manufacturers put in a lot of effort to stay ahead along with the rapid growth of modern technology. But the question is, what advanced innovation has been established by the aircraft industry in the meantime? In the coming years, the way people travel is predicted to be completely transformed by smart technology. In many aspects, electric vehicles seem to be the way of future transportation. For this reason, a Hungarian named Robert Kovacs has recently designed an electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, or EVTOL, called HEXA, which could be a great innovation to rush our traffic. In this video, we will be specifically looking at some features of HEXA and whether or not this advanced vehicle is a good fitted for modern future. Basically, this wingless multicopter was industrialized by the Lyft aircraft team. This is a single passenger Eve Tall aircraft, which has capability of landing on ground or above water. According to Lyft Company, the overall design of the HEXA system has been made to be highly safe, user friendly, and spontaneous. This system, in turn, made the aircraft extremely reliable and automatic, and thus allowing to be operated without a pilot's license. According to the records, Lyft Aircraft began a construction of HEXA aircraft for serial manufacturing in December 2019. Nonetheless, its first flight test was conducted a year before that, precisely in 2018. Matt Chasen was noted as the first pilot in the HEXA's first manned flight testing. In addition to this, Lyft Company stated that the production of this new product will be more advanced in many ways. For instance, HEXA is built with a lighter airframe, quieter electric motors, a fourth flight computer, and modified landing gear for increased stability. In the earlier establishment, the HEXA drone was intended for local transport and tourism. However, in the future, the manufacturing company also plans to make it available for specific use in emergency medical services, firefighting operations, cargo carriers, search and rescue missions, as well as in military related purposes. In regard to the use of HEXA by the military, FlyingMag.com reported that the U.S. Air Force has just conducted a flight test of the aircraft in Florida, which according to them this might be a first step towards integrating HEXA into military airfield operations. Further to this, the USAF has been in contract with Texas-based Lyft since 2020. Now let's move on to HEXA's specifications. Considered as an ultralight vehicle, HEXA has a maximum empty weight of 254 pounds. However, especially for parachute system, an extra weight of up to 30 pounds and 28 pounds for float system are still permissible. The weight of HEXA, which is less than 500 pounds, is owing to the installation of lightweight super strong carbon fiber to its airframe. This all-carbon fiber airframe is installed under the open cockpit and reinforced by four perimeter floats and large central float. In turn, these systems enable the aircraft to perform soft landing either on a land or above water. On top of that, cushioning was also prepared for accidental harsh landings. In addition, this drone aircraft is capable of flying for an upper limit of 15 minutes as the batteries have a maximum 15 minutes life. It has average cruise speed of 45 miles per hour and the maximum of 63 miles per hour. It flies at height about 90 feet above sea level. Moreover, the aircraft built with 18 electrical motors which installed on a motor strut assembly that resembles a web of six inward pointing sectors with 12 outer and six inner propellers which is electrically powered. As a result, this design makes it possible to manage the aircraft by changing the speed of each propeller's unique motor as well as providing pilot with great visibility. A part of that, the aircraft has been designed to be able to fly and land safely, even with up to six of its 18 battery-powered motors and propellers are deactivated. Besides, when it comes to carrying passengers, the aircraft also offers a very impressive capacity. With 25% battery life remaining, it can transport a 250-pound passenger for up to 15 minutes, which is its maximum flying time in a single trip. Moreover, HEXA has a unique physical appearance. It is designed with a front windscreen, whilst no doors on both sides of the cockpit. It is also equipped with three redundant flight computers, 
three redundant sensors and collision avoidance sensors. As semi-autonomous aircraft, HEXA stability is controlled by flight control computers. During the flight, the system constantly analyzes the power needed to return home. Therefore, no matter what action is taken by the pilot passenger, HEXA will autonomously return and land while it still has sufficient return charge of the batteries. On the contrary, when the passengers want to activate the autopilot mode, they can either use the three-axis joystick or a little touchscreen. The aircraft will hover on its own if the pilot releases the joystick. In the case of emergency landing, HEXA can land automatically in approved safe zones, or it might also be remotely operated by trained safety pilots providing by lift. Veranti Autopilot in HEXA Four times Veranti Autopilot is a hardware that is developed to navigate any unmanned vehicle, including HEXA. In specific, guiding, navigating, and controlling are the principles of HEXA's four times Veranti Autopilot system. This onboard software and hardware of this high-performance system were built in accordance with the D0178 and D0254 specifications. This makes the system being reliable. Even if one of the components fails, it ensures the safety of the flight. Not only ensuring a reliability, the 4 times Verani Autopilot also offers a flexibility of the system. This flexibility is linked with a change of autopilot system to be semi-automatic when it is required. A remarkable design of this flying vehicle, which is characterized by a multi-layer network controlling 18 separate propellers, make its extensive network of sensors capable of early failure detection. When the system detecting any failure, an automated fail-save mode is activated. Eventually, this flexibility enables drone control from either an onboard stick or a ground-based control station. In addition to semi-automatic system, the central controller is able to keep track of all the drones used for transportation services in real time. The control center's operators are responsible of assuring the operation's safety. Thus, they are given an authority to issue commands for automated operations. Besides, they can also override the flight from the on-ground joystick to guarantee that every passenger has memorable experience flying with HEXA. Up to date, Lyft Company plans to set up a number of places where everybody could rental the aircraft. A current place settlement is arranged based on customers' interest. These include scenic areas, tourism hotspots, entertainment centers, and uncongested areas near major cities. According to Lyft website, the upcoming objectives for 2023 and beyond involve deploying parachute systems, expanding envelope, analyzing acoustic testing results, conducting environmental tests building vertiports, and many more. Finally, talking about the money, it will cost you $495,000 to buy this modern vehicle. However, there are only few lefts in stock. That's all for today. What do you think? Would you consider Hexa as your future vehicle? Leave your thought in the comment.